Check this out. I built my own screen-free audio player. Pretty cool, right? Today, I'm gonna share exactly what it's like making this DIY player and answer the biggest question you're probably thinking. Is it actually worth building your own or should you just buy a 20 bucks and Yodel player? Most people, when they hear DIY, they would assume it means cheaper. Surprisingly, the reality is a bit different. First, let's talk about the software behind this. I didn't write the code myself. I used an open source software called Phonybox. There's a great community that supports this project, but one challenge you'll quickly find is the lack of precise blueprints. That's because each Phonybox is meant to be uniquely customized based on your technical comfort level. Cool, yes, but also frustrating since most tutorials I found were in German. Thankfully, Google Translate came to my rescue. Now, about cost. If you're hoping DIY means cheaper, here's where expectation meets reality and not in a good way. Unless you have a lot of these parts laying around your house, DIY ends up costing more. The brain behind this project is a Raspberry Pi. You don't need the greatest or latest, but even without factoring the Raspberry Pi 4 I already own, parts alone cost me $70-80. Add in the Pi, and you're looking at about $110. Compare that to the Tony Box or the Yodo Player, which are around $100 each, or even the Yodo Mini that's just $70. So financially speaking, DIY isn't exactly budget-friendly making your own. And that's not even counting the time it takes to build this. I'm not a soldering or woodwork expert, so this build took me roughly two hours per night for four to five nights, and that's around 10 hours of trial, error, and frustration. Although now that I know what to do, I'd imagine it'd be much faster. So at this point, you're probably wondering why anyone would even bother building their own, especially considering I already own the Tony Box, the Yodo Player, and a StoryPod. Besides the obvious satisfaction of building something from scratch for my kids, the real reason boils down to content. When it comes to content, you're probably thinking price and library size, and that's a valid consideration. Let's break it down real quick. A typical Tony costs about $18, runtime varies. For example, this Disney Frozen Elsa Tony has a runtime of 24 minutes, including four songs and a story. Yodo's version is cheaper at $10, providing a longer 34 minute story, but without music. Then comes the DIY. There are many options when it comes to this, but the easiest would be to purchase a pack of blank and the C cards to activate the stories. A pack of these vary depending on how many you purchase. For this example, I'll go with this 30 pack, which costs $12.99, so 43 cents a card. There are smaller packs that cost more per card, and larger packs that are cheaper per card, but this is a good middle ground. You'll need more than just the cards. you also have to purchase the stories. Unfortunately, Audible or Audiobook.com doesn't make it easy to download stories you've purchased outside of their app. So I'll use Libro.fm since they offer straightforward downloads to MP3. The frozen audiobook there costs $5.74 at the NFC card cost, and you're looking about $6.17. Clearly in this situation, and I wanna say the majority of them, DIY is cheaper for content. But there's a catch. Unless you're comfortable navigating third-party software, your library content to pick from might be more limited compared to Tonybox and Yodo. Third-party software can also be a legal gray area, potentially risking your Audible account, as it is against Audible's term of service to use third-party content to download the content. This is why I stick with DRM-free sources like Libro.fm or Downpour. By the way, if your kid loves Marvel, Downpour has a great box set. But what's the strongest case for DIY? Ownership. When you purchase audio from sites like Libro.fm, you get to own the MP3 files. This means no matter what happens to Libro.fm or Downpour as companies, that your content stays yours forever, playable at any MP3 player device. And this point might be more important than you realize. I'm not saying it's likely to happen, but if Tonybox or Yodo were to ever go out of business or discontinue the products, the reality is your Tonys and Yodo cards will lose their value entirely without their servers. While offline playback might still work temporarily, you'll lose the ability to re-download or transfer content to other devices. DIY Solutions completely avoids this risk by giving you total control of your content that you paid for. Customization is another plus of DIY. I went with these wooden cards and NFC stickers on the back to clearly distinguish them from our Yodo cards. The options here are limitless, figurines, custom 3D prints, whatever suits your family needs. Of course, your biggest roadblock might be less imagination and more about actual skill or resources. If I had a 3D printer, I probably would have printed a sturdier case. Instead, I repurposed this wooden tissue box holder, which works fine, but might not withstand drops from younger kids. 
So at the end of the day, with this DIY phony box replace my Tony box or Yodo, and functionality-wise and screen-free use, absolutely. It could completely replace the Tony box, especially if you're okay with investing more upfront for cheaper content later. Replacing the Yodo is trickier. If your child mostly listens to music, DIY is a solid alternative. Yodo's small screen right here offers a big advantage though, clearly showing chapters with recognizable visuals making it easier for child to navigate. While adding a screen to the phony box is technically possible, cutting a neat opening in a wooden box with limited tools isn't easy. Circles are doable, squares not so much. So what's your take? Is DIY worth the effort or would you rather just buy a ready-made player? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're interested in the DIY phony box, make sure to subscribe. I'll soon release a detailed video showing you how I built mine. I'll see you in the next one.